Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm trying to get this set up so I can show you what I'm doing. I think I need more equipment. I want to show you how I'm trimming these plates. But I also want to see your comments if you have comments. I think what I'm going to do, since I'm looking at this live right now, um, so I can tilt this down a little bit. There you go. This is my treadle wheel. It's a kick wheel. And I use it, with, I kick it with my leg. I should show you that real quick. Orientation is locked. Okay, good. You can see where I'm kicking. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. So I'm kicking with this leg attached to a flywheel right there. And that turns the wheel. One kick equals one rotation. So one kick equals one complete rotation. How about that? And I've got a clay uh, biscuit or a clay ring here on the wheel that I'm using to um, hold the pots in place. It's a real simple device. Um, I know there's other ways of doing this. Um, namely a um, foam pad, I don't see a lot of people using, but that's just so dusty. I try to keep dust down in my studio. Uh, of course you can wash those, I guess, and keep them wet, keep them damp. Uh, I just like this, this technique better. So I'm gonna see if I can get this um, back in my clamp here. And you can watch what I'm doing. I apologize for my uh, unprofessional presentation here. I'm just trying to get some experience using this live YouTube channel. So the plates are not um, trimmed, they're just thrown on the wheel. And this is the base where they're, where they, uh, I'm stuck to the wheel head. That's what I'm gonna trim away. So I'm gonna watch this video uh, after I'm finished and uh, make some notes and try to improve on sound and uh, framing and all that kind of stuff. I've done quite a few Periscope uh, live streams, uh, some Instagram live streams. I'm curious about the YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel and how that will uh, reach an audience. So that's why I'm trying this out. So I'm just centering this. I'm using my thumb and my uh, uh, finger, middle finger of my right hand to kind of steady it and kind of just get it, you know. Some people tap center, but this is a little trickier to do on this clay. And there we go. I'm using two different um, trimming tools for different places. Loop tools are called. You can see the shape there on this shape. So I'll start with this one. Just trimming away the ex excess clay. It's a reductive process. Yep. Hope everybody's doing fine, wherever you are. Please uh, comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to get to them. ASAP. I'm just going to trim one plate on this video. That way I, I can uh, get back to uh, your questions and see how my setup is working. Sort of holding the pot down with my left hand as I trim. Um, just in case it loosens its grip, but it's it's pretty, pretty solid on the uh, clay. Um, one thing that does happen uh, is that um, I love center. after I've trimmed a few of these plates or any pot that I'm trimming, the clay disc has to be re-wetted. It sometimes gets a little dry just from spinning around and being in contact with dryer clay. I'm also going to work on a video from my Instagram channel um, showing this process. Also, when these plates get trimmed when they're when they're finished uh, when I'm finished with the foot I cut the edges with a wire 
And that's from that's the the video I'm gonna work on for tomorrow for Instagram. So you can check me out over there. I think I don't know if I have a link here on YouTube or not. Check that out. I realized that I watch a lot of YouTube. I, I listen to music on YouTube. I watch a fair amount of videos on here. It's like my TV now. I watch some news programming. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I like this medium. Maybe I'll do a uh, video or two specifically for YouTube. Cause I think it's a different type of uh, network. Uh, you know, network, it's not the right word. Um, platform, I guess I'm saying. So I'm just kind of trimming this clay out. I've stopped here because that's where I want the. This is what I want the foot ring to be, this wide. And I may go back and do some fine tuning. But after I've done this to my um, liking, I go in with this tool, the loop tool, which is like a more of a pear shape, I guess. You know, let's make this lit up right and. I first the first thing I do and I would advise you to do if you're doing this at home if you're following along at home with your plate is to establish your um, a rough rough out the uh, width of your foot ring what if you want the foot ring to be so this is I'm um, roughing it out and I'm I'm kind of creating a little trench here I guess you call it that way I won't overdo it if you don't do this and you just kind of start trimming and you want to stop sometimes it's really hard to stop. That gives you a nice place to stop. And you won't overdo it, because once you cut through that, you're committed to having either a flat plate or, um, you know what, I don't know what. And now I'm going from the center to the foot ring, kind of steadying my hand with my other, uh, tool with my other hand. Actually, I think uh, after I, cut this groove, I'll go back to my other tool. I see we have one other person watching live. I hope that you're getting this signal transmission clearly. It sounds good. I don't know. I, I'm a little far away from my uh, equipment, my router, my internet signal. So. If I can zoom in just a little bit, give you a little more. No. Oh, hello. I just saw a message. I'm looking at my screen. It says, hello from Finland. Oh, cool. Hello, Finland. So nice to have you here in North Carolina. Thank you for viewing. Thanks for sharing. So I'm going to... Take this with my thumb, take the thickness of this section that I've cut. I'm gonna go through that. I'm gonna leave enough clay there so it's not, it gives me a little resistance. If I just push down and it's really soft and I've gone too far and I've made the plate too thin. I'm gonna go back in with this tool, my uh, pear shaped loop tool. I couldn't zoom in so that camera's fixed. Can move it closer, but so I'm just cleaning out this little groove here, right here, inside here, and cleaning it up a little bit. Now I'm going to refine the foot ring itself. One of the few times you use your breath to work. So. <clears throat> Like I said, I'm gonna get some more video footage of this process for my video tomorrow on Instagram. I hope you subscribe, and we'll keep this going here on on YouTube or my Instagram for that matter. I'm just um. Spending the afternoon trimming, I have, uh, looks like I have six more plates to trim. I usually do working in a batch like this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm working in a, in a batch of about 13 plates at this point. And I'm 
Okay, so another nice thing about this technique with the, the disc is I can pick this plate up and get a sense of its weight. If it's too heavy, oh, that feels perfect. A little clay, a little bit too much clay right through here. So I'm gonna just chop, just take one more quick, a quick trim here on this part of the pot. Really subtle difference, but sort of in my hands, the memory of the weight I want to try to have. That's good. It's also, I'm just feeling the trend, I'm just feeling this cross section through here. So let's see if we can set this up. Um, and we'll look at it. Hello. Uh, let's see if I can set this up for you to um, take a look at what I'm gonna do next. So I have a, a banding wheel, which is um, a Shippo banding wheel, which I have made a, a little block that lifts the pots up. So it's a little riser, set made out of a piece of uh, lumber. And I put the plate on top of that, and that gives me a, a little bit of a... You'll see just in a minute. Let me see if I can get you set up here. I appreciate your patience. I'm gonna set this up right here where I'm working. All right, so I'll be using a wire tool to cut this pot. And this wire tool is a basically a cheese cutter that I've taken the uh, I've taken the little plastic wheel out, so it gives me more. Uh, space in this area here and so the this uh, riser will help me uh, clear the pot easily instead of hitting this guy I would hit this guy if, if the plate was just on so if I was just cutting this I would have only this much space to to use to uh, cut so with this riser it gives me a little bit more room to be um, saying really move that tool up and down if I want to let me see if I can get you set up just here so you get a, a better idea of what I'm doing now this part of the pot process I generally turn the pot and keep the tool stationary or in the same place. Like I'll keep the tool right here and I'll just cut into it like this and I'll actually move the plate okay you get an idea what I'm doing there? Let's see if I can move this let's move this slightly over Now that's one style of cutting. It's just a real kind of a wave cutting. Let's see what else I can do. You can also do a lobe action, lobing cutting like this. You can improvise with a little bump like that. Mix it up. Freestyle. This plate is a little bit on the stiffer side. The clay is a little stiff for this. And this way, you always, you, you can sort of, if you're doing this by hand and not, not using a template, after a while you'll get, get a hang of it. This is uh, some of the cuttings we're getting from it. And what I'll do after, after this um, dries a little bit is I'll take that burr off with a, with a, some, a sanding tool I have quite a sharp burr, but it, it'll come off easily after it's dry. So, there you go. Um, hope you like that. Uh, and thanks for putting up with my uh, crazy camera work. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that and that you uh, it will help you with your pots or uh, help you appreciate the pots you already own in your home.
home. Um, I'll go back to the drawing board and watch this video and see what I, where I can improve. And uh, thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. It's nice to have you here. And I hope you can share this with your uh, friends. And uh, we'll see you next time here on YouTube. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well. <laughs> such a... I'm such a noob. Thank you very much.